It's time now for a look at in local sports. In sports, Wayne County has six all-star teams this week competing in state tournaments all across the state, seeking a state championship this summer in both boys baseball and girls softball. Today at 10 a.m., our girls softball team, 17 new all-stars play for the state championship against Lanier County on Field 1 at the Ben Park Complex. WIFOFM will broadcast that game today. Our pregame begins at 9.50. Wayne County has to be beaten twice, so the if game is set for 11.30 if Wayne County loses that first ball game. Five other All-Star teams are in action as well across the state. We've got two 10U All-Star teams in Lyons, Georgia, both the 10U girls softball team and the 10U boys baseball team, both unfortunately in the loser's bracket beginning today. Then 10U girls softball, Vidalia defeated Wayne County's team 18-11, to so Wayne plays today at 11 a.m. against Worth County. 10U baseball team won their first game 5-3 over Vidalia, but then lost to Sumter County 5-3. They play today, Thursday, 11-15. Again, both the 10U teams are in Lyons, Georgia. We have two all-star teams in Effingham County, the 8U baseball team. They lost yesterday to the Savannah All-Stars by a score of 12-0. Coach Sean McGowan says the All-Stars only had four hits in that ball game. They have to win six straight games to win the state title now. They play today at 9-30 against Coffey. Again, that action taking place down in Effingham County. Also in Effingham County is the 14U baseball team. Again, they're going to roll and win the state championship. They were rained out yesterday, but they'll finish up today against Grady. Again, they're the odds-on favorite. Not much competition down there for the 14U team. Again, they should roll and win that state title down there in Effingham County. The 12U baseball team is the sixth team involved, and they that baseball team's in Statesburg, Georgia. They won their first ball game yesterday, 11-0 over College Park. They play today Thursday at 10 a.m. against Sumter County. Again, they're the odds-on favorite to win that tournament in Statesburg, as well. So again, six teams in action. Three remain in the winner's bracket, three in the loser's bracket. Again, Lamar Equals is going to join us this morning on the broadcast to update every, all the action around this, the area. Again, also be on the broadcast for the 17 U Girls Championship game. Again, two teams forfeit in this state tournament here in Wayne County. They failed to show up yesterday or even call. McIntosh at Albany failed to show up and forfeited their games in the state tournament, which they qualified to play in. But, again, they didn't show up yesterday. So, again, this tournament ending today at 10 a.m., Wayne County taking on Lanier County in the girls' 17U state championship. Other sport notes, the College World Series, the Florida Gators have advanced to the championship round. They eliminated TCU Wednesday by a score of 3-2. to two. Gators remain unbeaten in the tournament. They've won three straight games all by one run. And they'll wait for the winner of the tonight's LSU-Wake Forest game as LSU stayed alive. They beat Wake Forest last night 5-2. Those two teams play again tonight. In Omaha, Nebraska, the winner of that game again meets Florida for the best two out of three championship. And that two out of three championship game is set for Saturday, game one at 7 p.m., game two Sunday at 3 p.m., the if game Monday set for 7 p.m. Monday if the game is needed. But again, tonight it's said, LSU Wake Forest to decide who meets the Gators for the best two out of three championship this weekend. And that's and one final sport note the Braves and Phillies rained out last night. They've got a doubleheader set for today in Philadelphia. Hopefully we'll have both those games for you here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. FM, depending on what happens today at 10 o'clock in that girls' state championship softball game. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.